Hi, this is Miguel Terrell, and I'm running for president. And one of the things that um, I'm very disappointed in is during this coronavirus crisis, I still see vape shops that are non-essential open here in Atlanta, Georgia. That's crazy, Governor Kemp. And um, I don't know how you let this go around, but anyway, I guess you consider vaping an essential thing during a coronavirus crisis. And you know that coronavirus attacks the upper respiratory system. And vaping uh, is one of the things that probably is not good for your upper respiratory system. I heard on NPR uh, yesterday that uh, there was a case, some cases in uh, a resort ski town, I think up in Utah or Idaho, where there was a high case of young kids getting coronavirus, getting pneumonia-like symptoms, and which turned out to be coronavirus. Um, and there were some studies that suggested that one of the reasons was that these kids were still, uh, even though they were young, they were using a lot of vaping products. They were vaping. And so this has made their lungs uh, compromised. So, I mean, if this is something that's compromising, why are we keeping these shops open? There's one that I saw that, uh, that's on uh, Memorial. Um, drive here or memorial boulevard here in atlanta that's open cloud nine vape and smoke shop come on man what's up with that anyway um so it's things like this that are causing young people who they think that they're not vulnerable i guess and so uh it's a very big thing and it's big with the hip-hop people and uh, young, uh, you know, people are promoting it, uh, things like on Saturday Night Live. Pete Davidson, a world famous, you know, comedian on Saturday Night Live, who was engaged to Ariana Grande, used to do videos where he's all in these vape smoke and vaping and everything. Well, isn't that a great way to, uh, you know, promote a dangerous product. Great job, Pete. Great job, SNL. Great job, Saturday Night Live, with letting Pete Davidson show vaping uh, as one of his sketches. Uh, so, you know, be responsible, Pete Davidson. Be responsible, Brian Kemp, okay? And other leaders, uh, you know, why don't you close these shops down? You're in Atlanta. Mayor uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, are you just trying to be, you know, the hip hop mayor? You know, you're having all these committees with hip hop artists and so forth. This is why the young people are getting coronavirus. Okay, that, and you don't close down the, uh, you know, basketball courts where people are playing basketball and massive, you know, in uh, areas where they're congregating. They're they're playing more than five on five, they're playing like seven on seven or eight on eight. It, those basketball courts are getting crowded, okay? So, I mean, it's these things that if I go down like Piedmont Park, there's no uh, buddy that's practicing social distancing. They're all crowding around doing things and, you know, they're not exercising. They're just like having picnics a lot of times, you know? playing Frisbee, having picnics, uh, you know, and crowding, walking around real slow. They're not exercising. So these are some of the things that you have to think about that could cause the young people to get coronavirus, okay? So close down the vape shops. Come on. Be logical. Think. Think. Okay? You got to think, Governor Kemp. I'm not going to vote for you when you're running for governor. You're an idiot. Well, anyway, 
that's some of the things that you have to do. You have to take control of these young kids. They are crazy when it comes to, you know, uh, their brains aren't developed anyway, you know, as if they're under 25, all these studies say that. So they don't have any responsibility, okay? And that's just the truth. I'm telling you the truth, okay? So pay attention, Governor Kemp. Pay attention, Pete Davidson. Pay attention, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Your young people are running around not paying attention and not doing the social distancing and and, you know, uh, they're gathering around and get in crowds of more than 10. Big crowds. Okay? And you haven't done anything about it. Okay? I don't know how you expect me to vote for any of you, for mayor or for governor or whatever elected officials you plan to run on. Okay? I will campaign against you. Because I, Miguel Terrell, tell the truth. Tell it like it is. And that's what's happening in your city and in your state. Okay, this is Miguel Terrell. I'm running for the progressive uh, party, okay, as president. Write in for me, Miguel Terrell. I have the solutions to the problems. Thank you and have a good day.